Welcome to Hey Rondo's Beer Reviews. <laughs> Hello. It's December 4, 2020. This is day four of the beer cartel advent calendar or outside Friday night. Probably know all this if you watch a video before. Um, by the fire. There there's, might be some crazy animals out here. Yeah, there's a bull obsessed dog around. Um... Yeah, it's a pretty nice night. We're a bit tired, unfortunately, so it's a bit, a little, little bit less. A little less. bit dull. A little bit less. Whoop. Whoop. Um, but anyway. Oh, this is Tom, by the way. That is Tom. I'll kick him off in a minute. Um, so we're reviewing a Pineapple Squeak Nipa from Sauce Brewing Co. I've not tried this new hop in here. There's lots of packs with um, like 12 packs or whatnot with this new hop. Loaded with Bruce Dash One, B R U Dash One hops for an unmistakable pineapple punch. 375 mil can, 6.2%. It's a special batch. Oh. <laughs> All the. Um, Advent calendar ones are exclusive. <laughs> I will read what's on the back. <laughs> Yet another fruity squeak. Squeak! Um, I don't know. How does, what does it sound as a fruity squeak? Not make like mm, squeaky strawberry. Um, it doesn't stand it's on It's not like that. halloumi. Like when you eat halloumi mm -hmm. and it squeaks like squeaky cheese. Put it in the pan. Yeah. <laughs> I love me some squeaky cheese. Um, the hops are doing the heavy lifting here, delivering some serious levels of pineapple aroma. Although we may have added some natural extract to top it off. We may have added some natural extract to top it off. Because we love pineapples. I love pineapple. Unfiltered and all natural, some Even settle. Like the pineapple, like the some settling may occur. Does that mean oh, there's floaties? Some yeasties. Some protein. Uh, sauce brewing is in Marrickville, in New South Wales. New South Wales, not New South Wales. New. No, South Wales. it's new, new, new. Oh, I can already smell the pineapple. Hello. That's Tom. Hello, Tom. He's <laughs> loves the ball. A little bit obsessed. Whoops. You get a tiny bit more. Oh! There you go. <laughs> I can see a little, a little bit of floaties in your bit. You got the bottom bit. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Plan that well. There's some floaties on mine too. Uh -huh. oh, Don't think you can see it. Amazing. It's quite light. It is quite yellow. Mm. But they said it was the hops did the heavy lifting, so. Oh, wow. Jeez. But they said they put natural extract in there, so it's not just the hops. Mm. Would have been nice just to have the hops so we could mm. see how good they are. Oh. Jeez, that's different. Cause it's so different. I was like, I didn't really know what I was expecting. So it's not like you've had a pineapple fruit beer. Oh. Um, how do you describe that? There's almost the, you know when you eat a pineapple and you get like the piffy taste in the middle? The, yeah, um, from the white. From the white beer? Yeah, that's, the core. That's like almost like a bitter undertone, does that make sense? Yeah. Um, in a really pale beer. both dogs here now. I reckon that's almost a dominant flavour. And it sounds gross, but it's not. Almost coconut. Almost. Almost. You know that piffy taste of pineapple? Oh. Almost has a coconut taste. It's, it's very, very different. Very different. It's not too sweet. No, because if it was too sweet, I would have been like, Bleh. No, it's not. It doesn't have a sickly taste. Nope. It, 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 it leaves you wanting more, like just keep tasting it and it, and... Oh, you could smash it. Absolutely. Oh yeah, yeah, but like, this I mean, would be... 
like but yeah but every time you drink you taste something else something new kind of comes through yeah it's, i don't yeah it's really yum tom's still here by the way <clears throat> um so you're wondering. i could like if this was cold like really cold like zero one degree in a pint glass oh. on a hot day do you know what it at, reminds at six point two at six six point two percent you know what i think it reminds me of is a good old fashioned vodka pineapple with really good pineapple juice like and really good vodka so the vodka's so smooth you can't even really taste it without the gross vodka I don't know, it's, it's, because I don't know what these, um, what this hop tastes like without the pineapple extract, so I don't have a reference point, but if that's what it tastes like, that's really interesting. Yeah. But I reckon, I'd presume that pithy taste, what we're tasting, is the extract, uh, but it's really clever. It's really clever, it's really easy to drink, it's, re it's, it's pretty, it's, it's um, completely like, different. like, I've never I'd, tried it before, or tasted I'd, it before. I'd give it an 8 out of 10. Yep. Like, you run this straight up. Easy. And we've got the second can and we'll be drinking it straight after. Um, on a Friday night, it's really good. I'd, I'd be stoked. Yay for can, Ben. Yeah, I'd be stoked if I found this. It's um, it's not sour. I have had like all no. lots of new beers are sour or, or a hazy Nipah. Yeah. With yeah. the fruits, with lactose. And this really doesn't need any of that. Nope. It's, it's not just, often. It's just in its own thing. They've done really well. well we've had some... Um, We've had some other fruit ales, like a blueberry ale, mm. and they just seem to be a cop out attempt of um dogs moving the table. A cop out attempt of um to get into the sour market in a hurry. Yeah. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. We need right. a blueberry yeah. ale for a beer festival. I'll yeah. oh, just dump them in our pale ale. And make the colour change and people will believe. Yeah. Mm, mm, yes. Um, yeah, it doesn't always work out that well. But this one, mm, it's very. It's really um. This is probably the first. You know, it's yum when we're not making stupid jokes. We're just talking about the beer. It would be nice if, like, it's, it's an earthquake. Or we're in a boat. Mm. It'd be nice if the dog wasn't shaking the camera. How's this going at home? You feeling dizzy? Mm. You feeling seedy? Mm. I feel like my face is somewhere and I'm just a bit red in the alcohol. I'm just gonna pick it up. This is our little little fire area. It's just a little um Hey Rhonda's Mark One. Yeah, it's a little shack with some sheet of iron over there to stop the weather from one way. Not even a shack, it's like a humpy. Yeah, and you got the old mate magpie. Anyway, that's enough rubbish. Eight out of ten. Oh. Could you could you smash it? You could smash yes. it. You Would could you drink be smashed from it? Yes. Yeah, you could drink pints of it six point two percent and be a whole heap of trouble and go home having a nice nap from a happy night. <laughs> um it's it's pretty good. Alright. Time to go, the dogs come back. Yeah. Have a good evening, people. Or a morning. You could have a brekkie, brekkie juice. It's I drink, got pineapple in it. It's good could, for you. You could totally drink it in the morning and... Um. Oh, oh, I would. Mm. All right. Bye. <laughs>